I'm Chris Manfredi. I'm the Dean of the Faculty of Arts at McGill University. I'm a political scientist by profession. I've been teaching at McGill for 23 years and I've been in my current position for a little over five years. If I were to describe my field of research, I'd say it's, uh, it's about the intersection between the law and politics. And in particular, I'm interested in how groups use charter litigation to advance their political agendas. And I'm interested in how judicial decisions affect the policy process. And finally, I'm interested in the internal dynamics of judicial decision making, asking the questions, why do judges uh, reach the decisions they do, and how can we best understand that? Within political science, it was a fairly uh, low profile field of study up until the 1980s, but of course, once the Charter of Rights and Freedoms became a part of our Constitution, which uh, expanded the role of courts in the political system, judicial politics became a much greater area, much larger area for researchers to look at. Well, there are many things that one can say for and against uh, having courts have an impact on public policy. I would say on the, on the negative side, uh, there, there are really two things. One is the normative question of what this means for democracy, what it means to shift policy decisions from elected uh, officials to unelected officials. Broadly speaking, that's, that's one of the, the, bigger, the bigger issues. The second negative issue is whether the adjudicative process, the, the process by which decisions are made within a, within a court, whether that's the appropriate process for getting the right information that's necessary for making complicated policy decisions. I've always been fascinated with, uh, with law and I've always uh, understood law to be an important part of, of how society develops itself. Uh, and so this area of research allows me to combine a number of different things. It allows me to combine an interest in law. There's a normative component to it. We ask a lot of questions about what should good policy be. And there's a political component to it because we're trying to understand the internal dynamics. What are the strategic calculations that the, that the court is making when it comes to a decision? What are the tactics that groups choose in order to advance their agendas in, in the courts? So it appeals to a number of different areas uh, that I find interesting. Shirk has been a uh, very important part of my career from, from the days when I was a graduate student. Uh, I would say that there's never been a moment in my career either as a student or as an academic when I haven't had the uh, benefit of Shirk uh, support. And I think every p major piece of research I've done has, uh, fortunately for me, had the financial support of Shirk. And it's allowed me to um, do the research that has given me the profile that has made it possible for me to advance from a junior assistant professor through to being dean of the largest faculty at, at McGill University. It's also allowed me to support students who have been able to build successful academic careers as well. And I'm uh, fortunate and proud uh, that all of my students who have been supported by my Shirk funding and their own Shirk funding through doctoral fellowships uh, has been able to find and has a tenured position at a Canadian university, something about which I'm very proud and about which Shirk should be very proud as well. Mm -hmm.